Gary, thank you for the invitation to Gilmore Tools today. Uh, during my travelling up to Scotland this morning, I did a bit of research on the company and had a look on your website. Uh, I was fascinated to see that you're a, you're a cutting tool um, manufacturer. Can you tell us a little bit about the tools that you do make here? Yeah, it's mostly carbide tools that we make for the oil and gas industry, aerospace, automotive, um, threading, grooving, profiling applications. Because um, the first thing that jumped into my mind is how do you compete with the, the sort of mainstream providers from here uh, at your base um, just outside Glasgow in Scotland, but you're not, you're, you're providing bespoke um, cutting tools and inserts, aren't you? Yeah, that's correct. Nothing we make is a standard product here. It's designed here along with customers' drawings and specifications and all done in-house. And how many, how many cutting tools would you be manufacturing here then, just to give us an idea of the size of the company? Around a year, around 250,000 tools a year. And you're split in terms of servicing the domestic market and, and overseas? Yeah, we probably export currently about 70% of our product. Um, okay, so, so a lot more is going overseas. Yeah. All right, tell us about your, your journey here with the manufacturing and um, certainly behind us, a, a big part of the machine shop seems to revolve around uh, Fanuc wire solutions. What, what, tell us a little bit about the history there. Yeah, we bought, started buying Fanuc machines about 20 years ago to replace creek feed grinders. Um, currently we have a living uh, and total Fanuc machines. As you can see behind you, we've got the new machines uh, that we just got in about six months ago. Um, and we run these more or less seven days a week. Fanuc, the general service you get from Fanuc is good, and also the Fanuc control is pretty universal. So we have that on other machinery here. So if the guys know this control, they know this, the, the control on other machines as well. And it must have been a big investment for you here at Gilmore Tools. Well, firstly, why did you need to buy the machines? Has the business grown of late? The oil and gas market in particular has grown dramatically, uh, which is mostly overseas. So. We felt the need to buy more machines and employ some more people. And by the looks of your factory here, did you actually have to take machines out to put these in? Uh, we got rid of some machines and we had some space already here. And one of the points you mentioned to me as well before we started this interview was about the assistance and the help that Fanuc gave you uh, commercially during the purchase of that. How much did that help? Uh, heavily, yeah. I mean, Fanuc, uh, since our journey started with Fanuc, they've always been very helpful um, with the payment plan and uh, over the years that has made a difference uh, towards how many machines we buy and when we buy. And do you have much competition yourself around this area in doing what you do? Mm, not in this area, maybe there's one other in the UK but generally because we export so much ourselves it's a very bespoke market. And, and talk me through the, the process of maybe what you're doing here, you're, you're, you're getting a drawing from a customer of an application you're then having to maybe help them design the insert or the cutting tool to make that, and then you, then you I mean, tell, tell us how the story goes. Yeah, basically, a customer will send us in a drawing or sometimes a sample part and ask us to design something, and we then send them back various drawings. He then approves them. We then order the raw material in, which we get from local suppliers and also suppliers in the Far East, and then we then form the carbide part, um, get it coated, boxed, sent out to them. And it, what's the sort of turnaround time for something like that or a service that you offer like that? Because that must be important. Yeah, it depends if it's coating is involved. We can normally make the product in one to two weeks. If coating's involved, an extra week. So around three weeks in total. And I noticed some other investment that you've got here, particularly in this Starap machine here. Uh, how important is inspection oh, in your process? Huge, yeah. We produce overlays. We use the actual measuring on the machine as well. Um, we invested in a three or four new profile projectors as well because obviously we've obviously got a quality assurance Lloyd certificate as well, um, so, and we're vetted by many of the customers. And, and what would be a typical tolerance on a form of what you're making here? Anywhere from 0 0.01 to 0 0.005. And, and do the materials of, of the inserts change dramatically as well? It's mostly carbide. We do so some high-speed steel, but mainly, mainly carbide. And you did also mention to me earlier as well, and I know we're not going to go into great detail, but about how much difference the, the wire that you use on these machines makes to your success and, and reducing the, the cutting times. Yeah, as a special zinc gamma coated wire, which does make a difference um, to bog standard wow. brass wire that people use maybe on steel components. And, and the fact that Fanuc was so uh, helpful in, in the way they put the commercial deal together for you, did that show you how confident they were in their product here, that they really had no concerns that you were going to have issues reliably or, or with accuracy? Because we've dealt with them for over 20 years, 
the machines are reliable, the service we get from Fanuc, right round to from the sales, delivery, installation, after sales, never had a problem. And I suppose the fact you get the finished product off faster than most of your competitors yeah. do helps as well. Yeah, no, uh, uh, we'll always buy Fanuc machines. We'll have looked at other brands in the past, but the, the Fanuc's is so reliable, we'll, we'll get no reason to change. Thank you.